Hey all, we're going to take a minute and show you how to uh, get the suites patched in uh, using the multiple preamps in these spaces and then also the multiple pieces of outboard gear using the patch bay. Let's first take a look at these two preamps that we have located here on the actual Omni I.O. Uh, you have inputs one and two and probably the most important thing to consider here is that this dial, when you press it in, allows you to determine the preamp level on either preamp 1 or preamp 2. So simply using the SM7B, we plug into input 1 and then P1's level hanging out here. Uh, over in Pro Tools, you'll see that we have the option of A1 and then on interface A2. Those are the two first two inputs are the first two preamps on the Omni I.O. when I'm using the capital stereo I.O. here in the suite. So I set that thing to A1 and we'll go ahead and arm that track inside of Pro Tools and then when I adjust the preamp here you can see input level we can adjust that preamp up a little bit and you see level hanging out there. If you want to patch in a compressor these two or an EQ these two preamps actually have an insert option you can see hanging out right here. So in the patch bay you have the Omni Send 1 and 2 so what I can do is go Omni Send over here to the purple compressor which is this guy hanging out right here and then we come out of the purple back into the Omni return back on the preamp you want to make sure that you choose the insert button in and now you can see we're getting compression and that compression is recording into Pro Tools so that gives us the option to to record compression or EQ from the microphone directly into Pro Tools. So we have the option of doing that same thing for insert 2 if we'd like we would just use send 2 to another device or you can chain multiple devices together if you wanted to go from the compressor then into the EQ and then to the return or vice versa you have the ability to do that. If you'd like to use one of the preamps over here in the rack, we've got the uh, the Rupert Neve Portico 511 and the API 512C. Uh, simply enough with the 512C, you just plug the microphone right into the preamp. But this input, mic input right here, brings us uh, microphone level up here to the, to the Portico. So we'll go ahead and use that. We'll plug ourselves in, check the microphone, and you can see we have level. And then to patch that in, you need a patch cable over here you will see way down here on the bottom you've got the 511 and the 512 so here's the 512 output you then have to patch that into one of these Omni line inputs and you've got four places that you could go so if I go into input 1 I still keep Pro Tools set to A1 but then over here in the Omni I.O. I need to make sure I'm on pre-1 but then switch this over to line, there we go, line input, and then you can see I have that level hanging out. Now the other thing that you could do is go directly into line in three, switch Pro Tools here over to A3, check, 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 and you can see you have level directly into uh, Pro Tools from that preamp. No need to go over here to the Omni I.O. to make any adjustments. So that might be the easier option is just to take that external pre right into um, uh, the Omni Line 3 or 4. Works the same way. If you want to patch a compressor in series, we do as we normally would and come out of the preamp into your compressor, then out of your compressor back into the Omni I.O. input 3 and there we go. We've got preamp going to compression, going into Pro Tools. So it's this pretty simple patch, um, getting audio from an external preamp into an outboard piece of gear and then hanging out into Pro Tools where you would actually be recording that audio into Pro Tools. If you want to use one of these outboard processors like the EQs or the compressors as an insert inside of Pro Tools, it requires a little bit different workaround when you're working with this Omni I.O. The Omni I.O. is really for simplicity, but if you do want to compress, let's say, a, a track or something that you have running in Pro Tools through one of these uh, analog pieces of a gear and then back into Pro Tools, here's how you would actually set that up. Well, typically what you would do is you would actually set an I.O. insert and come in and out of the same input and output. Unfortunately, the I.O. doesn't let you, or the Omni I.O. doesn't let you do that. So accomplish the same idea. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create a new track inside of Pro Tools. Uh, we're just going to create a mono audio track 
uh, next to this uh, this audio. So I have uh, just a mono boom instrument that I would like to compress. I want to compress that using the, the purple. So what I would do is I was actually send that thing out a physical output. Uh, what you're going to notice is that this analog 3 and 4 is set to digital link so it's not available. So you only have outputs 5 through 8. So I'm going to choose A5. I'm going to go over here to the patch bay and right here you see you have your Omni out. So if we go to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we can then run that patch into our purple compressor, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out of that purple compressor and again run into uh, one of the line inputs. In particular, I'll just go into line input three because it's a little bit easier to deal with. And then on that new track, we'll have a, we'll assign that to A3. So I throw that thing into monitoring mode. And now what's, what I'm hearing is this first track playing back out into the purple and then coming back in on this second audio track where I could hit record and record that, uh, that signal out uh, using that outboard uh, compressor uh, from Pro Tools. So you can use that as an insert that way. A little bit of a workaround. Um, there's other ways to do it in Studio F. This is the way you have to do it uh, to use that outboard processing, uh, processing with the Omni I.O.